Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for keeping it a lot. We're about to inspire you right now. Now, the strenuous impact of the COVID-19 lockdown and the restrictions on many businesses has been worsened, of course, by the unrest the country recently experienced. In light of this, Diageo South Africa has launched a 25 million rand relief initiative to help businesses that were destroyed and looted in Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal. And we are being joined right now via video call by their marketing director, to Zizwe Vundla to find out more about what sounds like an amazing initiative. Zizwe, very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Thanks for having me. How are you? I, I'm all the better for connecting with you and hearing about what you are doing on the ground floor. Absolutely amazing. So kudos straight off the bat. I'm going to ask you first up, how have you been key in supporting establishments in Johannesburg, in Durban and in Cape Town through the COVID-19 pandemic and obviously the devastating effects of these lockdown restrictions? So the last year and a bit has been crazy um, for the alcohol industry. And I think so sometimes people forget just what a huge value chain this is, right? So the people who are affected were everyone from bottle manufacturers to waitresses to, you know, manufacturers like us. And um, so it's, it's a huge value chain, but we were always very, we were, you know, uh, uh, being um, uh, committed to South Africa and to the industry, we were always absolutely positive that we had to be part of the solution. So what we did over the last year was actually contribute over just around 200 million rand to ensure that these outlets were able to remain open, you know, giving them stock injections to ensure that they were able to, you know, again, remain open, have um, vibrant outlets, and just be able to, 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 to keep people in their jobs. Because, you know, I think what's important to realize that there's a lot of livelihoods in this industry, and it actually just affects the ability of people to put food on the table. So we just needed to be part of making sure that these outlets, this the, the whole value chain were able to continue contributing to the South African economy. I'm so glad that you have identified this as a complete ecosystem that needs to be looked at holistically. But, and not to get too dark now, but let's set the scene. In your industry, what has been the combined impact of the COVID-19 lockdown, as well as the recent terrible week-long, or just over a week-long looting and rioting? What has that effect been? It's been massive. You know, even if I just don't talk about what all the prohibition did over the last year and I focus on the week of unrest, you know, it's estimated at just around 1.4 billion rand, B, billion with a B, so it's massive. But I think what's more important, because sometimes we can get numb by the numbers, yeah. is that you have to remember that there's people behind those numbers, right? There are tavern owners in case of death, for example, who didn't have insurance. So once that tavern burned down, that was it. There are people who we spoke to in case and again, who'd had, you know, families, outlets in their family for over 100 years. That's completely burned to the ground, yeah? So again, I just think it's always important to come back to the human element because the numbers can make you numb and just realize that, you know, the unrest alone and then the, the that, that year-long prohibition really affected the ability of people to support their families, to feed their families, to take their kids to school. So it's, it's, it's a massive impact. Yeah, these are breadwinners, and ultimately these are children that potentially could go hungry. It has gotten that hectic. So, um, obviously, it's great to have the notion, and we all want to do something, but you've got books to balance. Ultimately, you've got a business to run. How did you recognize that you, as Diageo, could help with this remarkable cash injection of $25 million, which is quite a statement to make right now? Yeah. Look, I don't think there was any, there was ever any question that we were going to be part of the solution and part of helping in the rebuild, right? And that's why we were, we moved so fast. So once the shock wore off, you know, once we saw these, you know, once we well kind of wore off, and you know, we were very quickly back at it and trying to figure out how do we be a part of the solution? What does a support plan look like? Yeah. And um, so we, we were able to do that very quickly because, again, like I said, you know, it's, there's interdependencies, right? And we can't win if our partners are not winning. And that's why we we're able to move so fast. And it was almost a no brainer to invest in this because we have to win collectively. Completely. So obviously, it, it's, it's great to have the funds available, but we need to make sure that they are used correctly. How are these funds going to be implemented? So there's three main ways. 
Um, the first one is that obviously we needed to we need to support the cleanup and the, and the rebuild, right? Because you can't sell if you don't have an outlet to sell in, right? So the first part is just ensuring that we're able to support that rebuild. The second one is in stock injections because you need to have something to sell. So there'll be substantial um, investment in being able to support supply stock to these um to these outlets and then the third one is a cash injection because if you think about it right now because they're not selling they're not able to do things like pay their staff so those are the three main ways um, on top of that we will be offering marketing support and there's some um, there's some uh, concessions we're making in terms of trade payments with our trade partners Oh, looking at the whole ecosystem, as I said. Zizwa, thank you so much for, for I think, most importantly, doing what you're doing, but also proclaiming this to the rest of South Africa to hopefully start a movement. We need more companies with your kind of footprint to follow suit. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really, really so impressive. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Diageo's customers can rest assured in knowing that the organization stands by them and continues to give back to them during these extraordinary times and very tough times.